Hey YouTube, welcome to another video on how to build your second brain. In previous videos, I've been going through how to capture information, create literature notes from those, from your highlights. And then in this video, we're going to looking at how to create those permanent notes or evergreen notes uh, from all this captured information. This is probably the hardest part of the second brain workflow, but hopefully this video will give you a couple of tips on how to get started. 99% of your knowledge management system are comprised of these atomic notes. The idea of the permanent note is it's an atomic idea. This basically means it's one idea per note. Uh, you can hypothetically think about it as setting a bunch of single notes or single ideas on a table and then creating the connections between these notes. And then these new connections might create then new ideas or new permanent notes for your own system. Let's get into it. I've experimented with various types of titles for my notes. By default, I came up with how-to titles and notice that the search box just fills up with how-to's and it's hard to find what you're looking for. Instead, try to remove the how-to and just focus on describing the idea of the note. For example, how to motivate yourself when you're not feeling motivated could be something like finding motivation when not feeling motivated. Using the metadata in your notes will help you search using queries further down the line. And a clear title will make it easier to create outlines for the content you create. Then I would start pulling out my literature notes that I've already created. If you want a couple of tips on how to get started on your literature notes, uh, check out the video in the description where I go through creating literature notes in more detail. When creating permanent notes, you want to keep the content as clear as possible. It's recommended to keep the note short, but I prefer having all relevant information on that note and sometimes they might inflate. Keeping them atomic also forces you to really get to the essence of the idea. If you have multiple ideas on the same note, it's hard to create new connections between ideas on your second brain. Go through the permanent notes already in your second brain and grab any notes that resonate with what you're currently going through. If you're like me, you probably forget a lot of what you've already created. That's why we need a second brain, by the way. You might find forgotten notes that have insights about what you've just read, a conflicting idea or even a supplementary thought. These are great opportunities to revise what you've already written and update your notes in your system. There are multiple ways of searching notes in LogSeq. I'm a very visual person as I used to work as a graphic designer, so I enjoy seeing the notes laid out and I can explore them using the graph view. There's a search function that isolates the connected notes into a new view, making it easier to focus on what you're searching for. You can create more detailed searches using queries in LogSeq. This requires more understanding on how queries work and that would be its own video. Check out the documentation linked in the description if you want to get right into queries. The spotlight search and the graph view are good enough when you're just starting out. It's a surprisingly rewarding experience to find long lost notes on a theme you're expanding on in your search. You can either create a new note connecting the old idea with a new one or just simply add or morph the old notes. Fleeting notes are any notes you've gathered throughout the day. In my case, these would be things like web clips, journal entries, seminars, or video notes that I've stumbled upon during the day. These notes are stored out of my second brain. And this is mainly because, number one, it keeps the second brain clutter-free of notes that you don't necessarily even want to create permanent notes out of. And number two, I find it more convenient to use a mix of different apps and tools for capturing notes. Whatever tool provides the least amount of resistance at the specific moment is the best tool to use. By the way, if you want to see what tools I'm using to capture information, uh, I made a video in the description talking about my three favorite tools for capturing from the web. Sift through your fleeting notes and see if there's anything that provides value to your second brain. I end up writing up only a fraction of my thoughts and web clips as permanent notes. Trying to keep your fleeting notes inbox close to zero is a game that provides feelings of achievement and therefore keeps you playing. So as you can see, permanent notes are the biggest part of your second brain and therefore it's good to spend some time in creating these notes and creating better connections. So the more connections a idea or a note has, the better. And creating good connections is also really rewarding. Hopefully you gained some insight uh, onto creating permanent notes from this video. If you found it useful, click like, subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you.